Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. I'm assuming it's a rectangle with a quarter circle and a semicircle. I'm thinking it's safe to assume those things. They give us the width of the rectangle, but they do not give us the height. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's label the radius of the semicircle r sub one. Now we'll label the radius of the quarter circle r sub two. The area of this semicircle is then going to be pi r sub one squared divided by two. And the area of this quarter circle would be pi r sub two squared divided by four. So to solve for the question mark, we're gonna add these two areas together. So now let's play around with this a little bit. So we have the radius right here. Let's put the radius again right here. So we can see that r two is equal to double of r one. So we can write an expression to say that r two is equal to double r one. And let's substitute in the place of this r two. Let's make it two r one. And let's do the same thing down here. This r two will make it two r one. And now we don't really need this anymore. This square will go to both the two and the r sub one. So we can rewrite this two r sub one squared as two squared r sub one squared. And two squared is equal to four. At this point, we could just cancel out the fours, but I wanna give it a common denominator with this two. So let's simplify the four over four to be two over two. And let's rearrange these. Now we have pi r sub one squared over two plus two pi r sub one squared over two. After we add these together, we will have three pi r sub one squared over two. And this looks important, let's put a box around it. So now all we gotta do is find the length of r sub one, and I think I know how to do that. Take each of these radii and rotate them to right here. And let's complete this right triangle. We already know that the base is four centimeters, and we also know this is r sub one. So we can do the Pythagorean theorem. We have r sub one squared plus four squared is equal to, well, this would be three r sub one squared. Well, this four squared would be equal to 16. And this square would go to both the three and the r sub one. So it'd become three squared r sub one squared. And three squared is equal to nine. And then we can subtract r sub one squared from both sides. On the left-hand side, we just have 16. And on the right-hand side, we'll have eight r sub one squared. And then we can divide both sides by eight. And that gives us two is equal to r sub one squared. And then we can square root both sides, and that gives us r sub 1 is equal to the square root of 2. And that is exactly what we needed to know. Because now in the place of r sub 1, we can plug in square root of 2. And then the square root and the square can cancel each other out, and the 2 on top and bottom can also cancel each other out. So the answer to our question is 3 pi, and we can give it a label of units squared. That's the blue area. How exciting.